All right, y'all, so we're at my cousin's retirement party. I'm gonna show you guys around. This is at a uh, air, airport uh, museum. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what's going on. So to Andy Griffith, <clears throat> where Opie went out into the square, and he met this kid. I'm sorry. And without knowing anything about that kid, he goes back and he tells Paul, I met a good friend. So, so he said, okay, that's your friend. Mm -hmm. But as the episode went along, Opie began to not like the kid because the kid started getting a lot of attention that he was once getting. So that reminds me of when I met Sergeant Sheets. <clears throat> Now, I want you to picture Sergeant Sheets 30 years ago and 30 pounds lighter, <laughs> okay? Here's this guy who presented this striking image when I got to Korea. He thought he was the man. He was the man. Until I showed up, and he, and he found out that I was the man. And I took all of his glory from him. Now, fast forward three years in the future. The world can't be that small, because three years after Korea, I showed up at Carter High School. And he's the man. <laughs> and I need a job. <laughs> In order for me to get the job, he's got to give me the thumbs up. So I sweated all that night. I said, look, Frank, that was three years ago. Man. That's a different so he looks at me and tells me, I'll let you know. <laughs> so the next day I come to school, he had talked to Mr. Williams, and I got the job. Now, from the word friend, derive the word called friendship. And so for the last 22 years, he has been my ride and die. Because from in that 22 years, a bond has grown that can't, can't nothing break. We are truly friends. He was there every step of the way at my lowest point. When my mama died, when my father died, when my sister died, my brother died. The ice didn't keep him away. COVID didn't keep him away. He was always there. And the same thing with death in his family, didn't matter who he was. I think she, I, I think his daughter said, when we go in Atlanta, I said, I'll be in Atlanta in the morning too. Then I went to Nashville. So from that, and over the last 23 years again, he's my ride and die. And I'm his ride and die. And it's an everlasting friendship, my friend. All right. <clears throat> All right. Attention orders. The Department of the Army is certified and the Secretary of the Army has awarded the Public Service Commendation Medal to Sergeant First Class Retired Frank Sheets for demonstrating the highest degree of excellence as a JRTC instructor. Your ability to integrate and apply the techniques and standards to develop a successful program epitomize your commitment to excellence. Some first class sheets dedication to the development of future leaders and citizenship uh, character of the nation in keeping with the highest tradition of educational processes and reflect great credit upon him, the United States Army, Cadet Command, and the United States Army. Congratulations.
I also have two more uh, plaques here. I've got one from uh, the great Carter High School that says, uh, in honor of your 24 years of service, is, this award is presented to Sergeant First Class Frank Sheets. Congratulations. <laughs> And I've got one from uh, all the instructors from Dallas ISD uh, to uh, thank you for your leadership, dedication, and support to the students of Dallas ISD. From all the GRLTC instructors, staff, faculty, and friends of the Dallas ISD GRLTC program, best wishes with all your future endeavors. Congratulations. Just a couple of comments before you go. I just want to say Frank has been a friend of mine for the last 18 years when I came here. Thank you. <laughs> before I call the pastor up, I want to make sure that everybody understands it. And when the pastor comes up, I'd like to have your complete undivided attention. I don't need for your cell phones to go off. Jesus or death, neither one going to call you on the cell phone. <laughs> so take a moment to put it on vibrator silent. If Jesus called, I let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Hey. I'm glad to get to this point. Yeah, hey. I appreciate your money, Sergeant William. Yeah. Uh, JROTC and Ooh. teaching and all this stuff has never been about me. It's always have been about the kids. And I've learned a lot from them, and hopefully they have learned a lot from me. i like to take this time just to thank the people that have made me successful. I think the Colonel talked a little bit earlier today and he talked about going to summer camp. Will my medical team please stand? All the nurses, y'all please stand. <laughs> These young ladies, over the years that we went to summer camp, whether or not it was at Fort Seal, Oklahoma, uh, Camp Maxis in Paris, Texas, or down in San Antonio at Camp Bullis. They provided the best medical care to our kids. But the Army was not doing our kids right because what we was doing was we was taking kids that were not prepared to be in the heat and suffer the, the consequences that they suffered because we was pushing them too hard. So as the years changed, what we did changed because at first we were seeing about 120 kids a day. These young ladies was taking care of them, and we were doing all kind of stuff. So y'all made me successful for the colonel to say the things that he was saying about me, but actually, it was you guys. So y'all, please give those young ladies over there. Y'all be sitting there. Two of them was my head nurses. And uh, Jackie's son played basketball for me. And uh, that young man, I went to his graduation down in uh, Prairie View a few years ago. And now he's doing wonderful things and stuff going from two states, running uh, a company that all of y'all are familiar with, uh, Amazon. Okay. Um, I would like to say uh, thank you to another group. It's three young men, and y'all can stand. Chief Hammock, where you at? Right here. <laughs> one, of, one of the most motivating young men I've ever met in my life. I trust him with anything, if, or anything. I would trust him. He's probably one of the most furious persons that I've ever met in my life. Sergeant Hilly is probably one of the smartest men that I've ever met, met in my life. Please stand, Sergeant Hilly. <laughs> this guy is a computer guru. I can tell you right now, if you want to know anything about a computer, he can do it. So he made my job at Carter High School very easy. <laughs> Colonel Davis, would you please stand? Now that's my friend. And when we worked together on a daily basis, man, we had a wonderful time. Now during the process of us doing JROTC, they had to cover me because I was doing basketball. 
Probably if I wasn't doing basketball, I probably wouldn't have stayed around JROTC as long as I did. I really appreciate y'all guys covering me when I was going off to different places to do basketball. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing more that you I'm so in 